English opening, symmetrical, anti-Bononi, Spielman defense, 5.NC3 NC6. Sudden a close game that was lost by a mistake. That game was pretty competitive. White played the opening well, but Black was on another level. Both players navigated the middle game well. White outmaneuvered Black in the end game. The Reedy is a less common but flexible opening that controls the center with the knight before committing a pawn. The central d4 square is governed by c5. c4 obtains room on the queen side and center and gets ready to advance the knight to c3. By doing this, a knight moves out of its beginning square and into the action. This makes winning a pawn a possibility. This exchange is fair. Backs off. This develops a knight from its starting square, activating it. By doing this, a knight moves out of its beginning square and into the action. The bishop is prepared to grow into a functional square. This develops a piece while also winning a tempo on a knight. This wins time by threatening a bishop and forcing it to move away. The bishop is now on a square that is more secure. The bishop will be better off as a result of this. It is the final book action. The bishop is prepared to grow into a functional square. It is ideal. By doing this, a bishop moves out of its beginning square and into the action. That's good. By growing a bishop from its initial square, this activates it. It is quite good. This develops a bishop off its starting square, getting it into the action. This threatens to kick a knight. It is good. That's a decent move. That's good. There were worse maneuvers, but there were also much better ones. It is incorrect. Castling gets the king to a safer square, out of the center of the board, while also developing a rook. Castling to the same side of the board as the opponent avoids some of the attacking associated with opposite side castling. It is good. Very precise. It is best. A rook enters the action after developing outside of its starting square as a result. It is ideal. The best choice is this one. It is ideal. Perfectly on point. It is ideal. A powerful play. It is quite good. This shifts the bishop to a square with more activity, giving it greater scope. That's good. By moving a rook from its starting square, this activates it. That's good. Now that the rooks can see one another, they can defend one another. That's good. That is a logical response. It is quite good. Although the score was nearly equal, white now has the upper hand. It is incorrect. This poses a fork piece threat. It is ideal. This makes it impossible for the adversary to fork parts. It is ideal. This keeps the material balance in check with good commerce. It is ideal. This exchange is fair. It is ideal. It is a fair deal after all captures. It is ideal. Recaptures. It is ideal. This reveals an attack on a queen. This is the only move that works. It is a great move. The queen is now on a square that is more secure. It is ideal. This provides an equal exchange of parts. This poses a knight winning threat. It is ideal. This attacks a knight and gains a tempo when the knight retreats. It is ideal. This maintains the balance in material with a good trade. This is the only good move. It is a great move. Recaptures. That's good. This strikes a rival knight. It is ideal. The knight is now on a square that is more secure. This poses a risk of winning a pawn. It is ideal. This is the only move that works. This threatens to kick a knight. This stops the opponent from being able to win a pawn. It is a great move. The knight becomes more active as a result, gaining control over more of the board. This poses a threat to an open file and a rook. It is ideal. A pawn kicks the opposing knight, forcing it to move or risk being captured. It is ideal. The knight is thus brought to safety. It is ideal. This misses a chance to send a knight to capture an outpost. 
it is incorrect. This threatens to take an open file with a rook. This allows the opponent to kick a knight. It is a mistake. This strikes a rival knight. It is ideal. This buys time by putting a rook in danger and getting it to flee. It is ideal. The rook is now in a safe position. It is ideal. This misses an opportunity to take an open file with the rook. This permits the opponent to reveal an attack on a bishop. It is an inaccuracy. This reveals an assault that poses a threat to a bishop. It is ideal. This exchange is fair. It is ideal. Backs off. It is ideal. The rook is now on an open file, which helps control squares across the board. It is quite good. The knight is now on a square that is more secure. It is ideal. This puts the opposing rook in a position to lose control of the open file. That's good. This poses a risk of winning a pawn. It is incorrect. A knight is lost as a result of this. It is a mistake. This is the way to win a knight. This is the only good move. It is a great move. Recaptures. It is quite good. This misses a chance to threaten a knight and gain a tempo. It is incorrect. This defends the attacked pawn. It is best. This is the way to win a pawn. This is the only move that works. This threatens to force eventual checkmate. It is a great move. This keeps the material balance in check with good commerce. It is ideal. Backs off. White is ahead at this point in the end game. It is ideal. A pawn kicks the opposing knight, forcing it to move or risk being captured. It is ideal. That pawn was available for free. By elevating it to the seventh rank, this poses a threat of activating a rook. It is ideal. An active king is critical in the end game and getting it off of the back rank is the first step. This threatens to win a pawn. It is best. This poses a risk of winning a pawn. This makes it impossible for the adversary to gain a pawn. It is ideal. This is a missed chance to imply that winning a rook is possible. It is incorrect. This poses a material threat. It is ideal. This avoids the rook's check. It is ideal. This turns the pawn into a passed pawn, which means no other pawn may oppose it as it advances. It is ideal. This poses a fork piece threat. It is quite good. By moving it from the back rank, this activates the king in the end game. It is ideal. The rook is now on a square that is more secure. It is ideal. The knight is now located at an outpost, a safe area inside the enemy's territory. That's good. This avoids the knight's check. It is ideal. A passed pawn is pushed by this. It is ideal. The pawn is now passed because it can no longer be opposed as it attempts to promote by other pieces. It is ideal. The passed pawn moves towards its goal. This is the only good move. It is a great move. This positions the rook behind an enemy passed pawn, preventing it from pushing for promotion. It is ideal. The knight is thus brought to safety. It is ideal. Among the best actions. It is quite good. This avoids the rook's check. It is quite good. An opponent's passed pawn can't advance if a rook is positioned behind it. It is ideal. This avoids the rook's check. It is quite good. A wise decision. It is quite good. A powerful play. It is quite good. That is a logical response. It is quite good. This ignores a better way to evade the check from the opposing rook. It is an inaccuracy. Sudden a close game that was lost by a mistake. That game was pretty competitive. White played the opening well, but black was on another level. Both players navigated the middle game well. White outmaneuvered black in the end game.